Well, up against a Walmart again, the retailer temporarily five stores for busted plumbing. It says some workers, though, particularly union ones, not buying it. They say the closures are payback for protesting wages, and now a union is getting in that fight. Uh, Stuart Acop says that Walmart is way off on this one. Lisa Booth, Sherry Jacobus think that big labor needs to back off. Why back off, Sherry? Uh, well, they're making a mountain out of a mohill. They're making a bad situation worse is what they're doing. It's unfortunate for these workers. A lot of people go through it. But look, Walmart is giving them a pretty decent severance package. Uh, if they can't get relocated, they'll get first dibs on the jobs at the other stores. But the stores that are closing are high-performing stores. Uh, there's more than just the plumbing problems that they're talking about, it sounds like. So that'll be different jobs that'll be brought in for the repairs and everything. Yeah, that but one of the done. stores, the one in, in California in particular, was one that was the sort of breeding ground for these. Protests. Well, yeah, um, but uh, look, but I you think don't find that that was a delay. I can see, I can see why the timing looks suspicious, and I think that there can be some investigations. And in fact, Walmart should welcome it. But I think they're being very generous. This right. stuff does happen, uh, and the the stores are going to come back. They're high performing stores. They're making them well, better. Well, we'll Those see about that. Back. The plumbing problems might or might not continue. But Stuart Acuff, as our union guy here, I just want you to react to this response from uh, Walmart. Uh, National Media Relations Director saying, and I quote here, we don't believe there's any basis for an injunction. As we said all along, these stores were closed temporarily, so we could fix the ongoing plumbing issues. Would be unfortunate if this group, that would be unions, uh, attempts to slow this process down for our associates and our customers. What do you say? Well, it's ridiculous. Walmart's got a long history of retaliation and intimidation against workers who try to form unions. They've got a long history of violating our nation's labor laws. But, but Stuart, three of these five the stores Work. didn't have any protesters at them, ever. And, and they may not have had protesters, but that doesn't mean people weren't organizing quietly within. Well, and they didn't like church mice because no one heard them. Well, Those three you know, didn't they, but, but, Neil, they probably were. That's All what right. we Lisa, have to what do, do when we have an employer. That, that it's, when it's, we have an employer like Walmart who right. regularly intimidates and retaliates against their employees. All right, well, but and Lisa didn't, didn't, the heat. No, All right, no, I hear, but no, Lisa, the didn't they just <laughs> raise their wage? Didn't they just raise Neil, Neil this they is did ridiculous. Just raise their Walmart, wage. Walmart, they Walmart did. is already paying way yeah. above the federal minimum wage. And quite frankly, it is asinine to think that Walmart would shoulder the financial cost of shutting oh, down multiple stores. it is not asinine. Stores. Just it to is punish 2,000 employees, this company, get out of this town. This company has Look, what, a history Neil, what we know, of Neil, closing what we know, Neil, what we know, Neil, what we know, Lisa, Neil, Neil, what we know. Lisa, finish that thought. Lisa, finish the thought. Then I'm going to go but back Neil, to you. But Neil, what we know is that this lawsuit, just like the protest, isn't about helping workers. It's about driving unions' left-wing political agenda and right, furthering right, unionization. Because Stuart, the reality is that, raising that you, the minimum you, wage. No matter what Walmart does, you will not be happy. You don't trust you don't like them, but if they were to unionize tomorrow, you'd be very happy. It wouldn't be on this show. And you know why? Because then workers would have a voice. They don't have a voice now. They could sit down across the table and bargain a contract if they were able to unionize at Walmart. You're exactly right, Neil. They're already getting paid above Walmart the federal minimum wage. Excuse me. Talk, Ma'am, excuse me. All right. You're both going to be disqualified from this contest. All right. So, Sherry, <laughs> where does this go? I mean, obviously, the, if, if, if the, none of these stores reopens. Uh, then workers it could, it could are breed, getting screwed. It could breed some, right. some cynicism there that Walmart's doing. Right. Uh, right now, it does not have the markings of retaliation. Uh, it just doesn't. Um, I oh, can see where the timing look, looks for, but everything That's else, it. everything else uh, falls five into place. Five stores have plumbing me. problems. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, five there are stores, thousands of stores. Five stores have uh, more than a hundred plumbing incidents. Now it could be a situation. Look, if you want to get, if the unions want something to. The union plumber. Let me finish a sentence, please. If the unions really want something to fight about, if you really need that fight, why don't you let them go and inspect? And then, if you find severe health violations because of the plumbing problems, then you have a whole new issue. Right, so guys, there I you wish go. you had more time, but uh, you know, Stuart, I will give you the line of it. Maybe they need a union plumber. That's not too shabby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they need yeah. a union plumber. There we go. There we go. And, and let... they're feeling the heat. All right, they're feeling the heat. All right, well, we'll let that one go because it was pretty clever. Neil, it's great and, to and talk to you. Same Thank here. you. You're all very good espousing your Thank views. You, Neil. And we save time by talking over one another which always helps. Thank you. Meanwhile, in 1992, the media poked fun of this group of